psoriasis is an autoimmune condition that affects the skin of 2 to 3 percent of the population of the world. Over the years, new treatments have emerged, but one treatment that has been with us since the 70s and which continues to be one of the mainstays of treatment of psoriasis is light therapy or phototherapy. In this video, we'll discuss just how light therapy can cure psoriasis. Light therapy in the form of sunlight has been used for centuries to treat a variety of skin conditions. Over 3,500 years ago, the ancient Egyptians used boiled extracts of plants they collected from the Nile Valley and then exposed themselves to the sunlight to treat vitiligo, a disease that causes depigmentation of the skin. And in ancient India, the healers use the seeds of the bhavachi plant that they ingested and then exposed themselves to sunlight to treat leucoderma. 3,500 years later, and we still do not know the exact mechanism by which light is able to cure certain skin diseases. But over the years, we have learned a lot and we can now speculate with some degree of certainty on the mechanism by which ultraviolet radiation can cure diseases such as psoriasis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease in which certain T cells in the skin, called T helper cells, become overly active and secrete molecules known as inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-2, and tumor necrosis factor, and interferon gamma. Instead of the month-long cycle of cell development, death, and falling off of the cells that takes place on the skin surface, we now have a cycle that is shortened to three days or fewer. This causes a buildup of dead cells on the surface of the skin that forms silvery scales that cause the typical lesions of psoriasis. Ultraviolet radiation impacting the skin penetrates the skin based on the wavelength of the ultraviolet rays. The longer wavelength UVA waves penetrate more deeply than do the shorter wavelength UVB. Before T cells can cause psoriasis, they first have to be activated by coming into contact with antigens, proteins, and peptides that are presented to them by a group of cells that we call APCs, or antigen-presenting cells. These include cells such as dendritic cells and a particular type of dendritic cell called the Langerhans cell. Penetrating UV light damages the DNA in dendritic cells and Langerhans cells and causes them to malfunction and causes a drop in the number of Langerhans cells in the layers of the skin. These cells are therefore no longer able to activate the T cells found in the skin. When T cells are activated, two classes of T cells are produced, effector T cells and regulatory T cells. And it is the balance between these two classes of cells that determines the activity of the immune system. When there's an excess of effector T cells, there's intense inflammation. And when regulatory T cells predominate, the immune system is suppressed. Ultraviolet radiation shifts the balance in favor of regulatory T cells thereby suppressing the immune system. Light therapy or ultraviolet radiation also affects the immune system indirectly by causing the regulatory T cells and cells in the outermost layers of the skin that we call keratinocytes to produce anti-inflammatory immune suppressive molecules known as cytokines. These include interleukin-4 and interleukin-10 and tuber necrosis factor alpha. 
Light therapy or phototherapy has been an effective method of treatment of psoriasis since the 1970s, and will remain an important treatment for the foreseeable future. If you like the video, share with your friends and family. Leave your comments in the section below, and please support the channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.